when you're building wheels and dealing with hubs, sometimes you, you need to know for sure what length the axle is in the hub. So you can try to do it with a ruler, but rulers generally don't fit inside through axles. And if you try to measure across the hub, it's not so easy because you're above the ends of the axle that you're trying to measure. You can do it on a bench, but you still have to sight across the gap. You can measure the hub with a digital caliper like this. It works really well because you have access to the ends of the axles. You can just rest it on there and take a reading. So you could try to use a vernier on a hub in a wheel, but then the spokes tend to get in the way. So a really nice tool is this DT Swiss measurer. It's a through axle gauge. It's got numbers on this side. It's also got numbers on the other side. You can see that it's, it has measurements for all the different hub lengths. And on this end, it's got a feeler gauge. You put that into the end of the hub and you can tell if it's a 12 millimeter or 15 millimeter through axle. So this is a cool little tool to have, a handy tool to have. DT Swiss's is made out of cardboard. So I thought it'd be fun to make one out of something a little more permanent. So I'm gonna make it out of a aluminum rod. But you could make it out of wood. You could cut one out of cardboard. You could make it out of a flat piece of metal. You could do it on a 3D printer if you had access to one. So I've been working for a while now and I've, I've got my aluminum rod down to an approximate length and an approximate shape. And now I'm gonna put the fine details on and finish it off. That's the first diameter right there. That's the 12 millimeter step. Now I need to make a 15 millimeter step here. Thank <laughs> you. 
here's how it came out. Not completely finished, but it gives you an idea. I've marked it for 100, 110, 142, and 148, the most common sizes. And to use it, just slide it inside the hub, and you can see the little line on the end and take your reading. This end, you put it in there, and you can see that that's a, showing you that it's a 15 millimeter axle. So I think it was a fun little project. And whether you make it out of wood, or you can make it out of cardboard, or a tin, whatever you have, I think it's a handy tool if you work with a lot of different hubs, check wheels frequently, and need to have the right sizes.